Ukraine to reclaim vital North Crimea by late spring next year. While the port city of Kherson was vital to Russia's war effort, the small land mass of Crimea is integral to their ability to export globally. Ukraine could surround northern Crimea by late spring next year, according to a military expert, as they look to move rather quickly southwards to beat the harsh winter conditions. Former Supreme Allied Commander in Europe General Richard Shiroff said Ukraine's aim was very simple, involving the recapture of every centimeter of Ukrainian territory, including Crimea, which was annexed by Vladimir Putin in 2014. The small land mass connecting Russia to the southernmost point of Ukraine is of significant value to Russia as it contains their only warm water seaport, the loss of which would deny them the ability to export for roughly a third of the year while the Siberian waters north of Russia freeze over. Mr. Shiroff said, the Ukrainian aim is very simple, to regain every ounce, every centimeter of Ukrainian territory and make sure there are no Russians left on it. So, they want to regain the sovereign borders of Ukraine, including Crimea. And, I think that the chances are I would put money on them achieving that, probably at least being able to invest, military term for surrounding enemy forces, preventing their escape, northern Crimea by late spring next year. We're seeing a slowdown now, of course. The weather has been wet. It is muddy as hell and movement is difficult. I think as the winter goes on, as the weather gets colder and the ground gets harder, I think we could see the Ukrainians begin to move rather more quickly. Russia is running out of ammo, how much longer can it keep fighting? The US is cast out over whether Russia has enough artillery to keep up a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, with Moscow burning through more ammunition than it can restock. On Wednesday, US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told journalists that Russians have struggled with logistics from the very beginning of the war and are still struggling with logistics now. He added that they are experiencing significant shortages of artillery munitions and reaching out to Iran and North Korea to get help from them. For nine months, Russia has been burning through its military equipment stocks, losing hundreds of armored vehicles and artillery, at least 71 helicopters, and over 1,000 tanks. That's according to Oryx, a website that records military equipment losses in Ukraine. The country's ability to replace the lost equipment has been significantly reduced since the beginning of the war on February 24, as Western sanctions have inched away at Russia's capacity of producing precision-guided weapons. According to Austin, Russian forces rely heavily on artillery, firing large numbers of rounds before maneuvering on the ground, an operation that requires a lot of ammunition. Ukraine's air force launches 12 attacks on enemy. During the day, the air force of the armed forces of Ukraine has launched 12 attacks on enemy positions. This is stated in the report of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine as of 1800 hours, November 25, published on Facebook. During the day, the Air Force of the Defense Forces has launched nine strikes on the areas of enemy personnel, weapons and military equipment clusters, as well as three strikes on the enemy anti-aircraft missile system positions. During the day, the missile and artillery units hit a command post and five areas of enemy personnel, weapons and military equipment clusters, the report reads. The invaders launched four missile strikes on Kamizhuvka, Zaporizhia region, and seven MLRS attacks on the Ukrainian troops and populated settlements. In Volyn and Polisia directions, the situation has not changed significantly, and no signs of the formation of enemy offensive groups have been detected. In Siversky direction, the enemy continues to shield the section of the Russian-Ukrainian border in the border areas of Bryansk and Kursk regions, conducts demonstration and provocative actions. In Slobashansky direction, the enemy opened fire from mortars, tube and rocket artillery on the areas of Visoka Yerua, Stralcha, Staritsia, Oertsev, Vovchansk, Ambarn, Fyholivka and Divrikna settlements in Kharkiv region. Russian T-90M Pro-Reef tank was destroyed near Kislivka. A destroyed modern T-90M Pro-Reef tank of the Russian army was discovered in a destroyed Russian convoy in the Kharkiv region. The convoy was destroyed on one of the roads near Kislivka. The incident occurred in September but the Ukrainian military only now discovered the column. The destroyed T-90M Pro-Reef tank and T-72B3 tanks of the 2016 modification were identified in the broken convoy. The BMP-2 armored vehicle, the IMR-2 engineering vehicle, and the CAM AZ-5350 Mustang truck were also hit. This is the second confirmed complete destruction of a modern Russian T-90M Pro-Reef tank. Previously, strikes on positions equipped with these tanks were recorded but there was no final confirmation of destruction. According to the information of the serviceman Serhii Filimonov, in September, a missile attack from the American M142 HIMARS rocket system was carried out against the convoy.